Hi. You'll find the Edexcel A-Level Economics B six markers in paper one and paper two, but not on paper three. There will be one six marker in each paper and you'll find it in section A, straight after your four markers. The six marker is not one that many students are familiar with and often do not maximise marks on. However, when you know how to approach it and know what the examiners are looking for, then it'll help you answer it confidently. It's really straightforward to answer. This video will also include an example of a six mark question and answer. And towards the end of the video, there will be a tip. The six mark questions have the command word analyze. In the past, they've asked students to analyze one thing, but more recently, students have been asked to analyze two things. So it could be analyze two factors, two ways, two possible impacts, etc. So for this, you'd need to include two points and have two separate paragraphs. For the analyze questions, the following marks could be awarded. Two marks for knowledge and understanding, two marks for application and two marks for analysis. To gain the knowledge and understanding marks of these two factors, ways or impacts, you typically be awarded knowledge marks for identifying these two factors. So identify the first factor in the first paragraph, second factor in the second paragraph. To gain application marks, ensure you make one reference to the case study for each point made. So the examiner should be able to see that you've made one reference to the extract in each paragraph. This is typically how you would receive marks. However, you may, you may be credited if you use your own relevant examples. For the most part though, you should use the extracts to help you and you should attempt to gain your application marks from there. For analysis, you should explain your points in detail and include a logical chain of analysis. Use connectives such as because and leads to, therefore, furthermore, to help you explain your points in depth. For this six mark question, do not evaluate. Do not waste your time. Do not do that. You will not be credited for it. You can see you're going to get marks for analysis and application and knowledge and understanding not evaluation, so do not waste your time doing so. Now, there is another way that the six mark analyze question may be presented to you. Let's take a look. Just a reminder to like, share and subscribe as I do post regularly. For the six mark analyze question, you might also be asked to draw a diagram you need to be able to draw a range of diagrams as directed in your specification. Questions might be worded as follows. Using a suitable diagram, analyze. Using a supply and demand diagram, analyze the likely impact and so forth. So again, we have the analyze command word there. What you would need to ensure that you do is fully label your diagram. So that would give you four marks if you fully labeled your diagram and it was correct. The other two marks would be, as you can see the lines below, would be awarded for application and your analysis in the written section. Let's take a look at a question and answer. Here's the question. Now we always look at the question before we look at the case study. Analyze two ways secondary market research may be used by airlines, such as BA, to help increase sales six mark. Now here's the case study. Now the extract is a lot longer than this, but I've just taken out the relevant parts. Extract A. How British Airways BA is turning itself into a low cost airline. BA's efforts to compete with budget airlines such as EasyJet and Ryanair on short haul flights has led to a number of changes that have been criticised by law customers and created bad publicity for the long established business. BA took the decisions to scrap free meals on all short haul flights and reconfigure aircraft to add more seats, resulting in reduced legroom on some aircraft. The reinvention of BA is continuing 
with the carrier planning to launch the option of no frills fares on its long haul flights. The cheaper tickets, which do not include the cost of luggage or seat selection, will help BA compete with the likes of low cost, long haul rival Norwegian on key routes to America. Now, this question is not asking for the advantages or disadvantages of secondary research. It is asking about the way it could be used by an airline. Remember, do not evaluate. You can pause the video now and attempt the question. Now, for this question, I'm going to start off straight away by using a wording in the question. The question requires you to analyse two ways, so I'll start off by using the word way in my first sentence. If it required you to analyse two impacts, then use the word impact in the first sentence. You won't get more marks for this, but it is good practice and it shows the examiner clearly that you're aware of the demands of the question and it helps you to stay on track too. One way that may be used is to access the prices that rival budget airlines such as EasyJet and Ryanair are charging for airline tickets. This could easily be accessed online. This would lead to the airline being able to have a better understanding of the current prices charged by budget airlines in the market. Therefore, the airline will be able to charge lower prices than competitors in that market for their long and short haul flights. This would help the airline adapt with greater ease to the budget airline market with the launch of their no frills fares. This means that there would be increased awareness of the no frills flight offerings now offered at a competitive price, resulting in an increase in sales for the airline. So that was our first paragraph and as you can see there was application in there, there was a chain of analysis and we stayed focused on answering the question. On to our next paragraph. Another way that secondary market research may be used is by identifying trends in the market. The airline could collect information on the most popular short and long haul destinations. This means that the airline could respond to changes in demand quickly for existing and new destinations. This would lead to more demand for flights as the airline are aware and are responding to the popular and least popular destination trends. This would lead to an increase in airline ticket sales for the popular destinations and the airline making efficient use of resources by reducing flights to least popular destinations, resulting in a higher market share in the budget airline market. So that's our sixth marker completed. Now before we go on to a tip from the examiners, let's just have a look at part of the question and how we are able to reinforce and show the examiner that we're actually answering the question. So if we look at the question and we can see increased sales. So analyze two ways, secondary market research may be used by airlines such as BA to help increase sales. Now if you look in the first paragraph, I've made reference to a result. It would increase sales for the airline. Second paragraph, this would lead to an increase in airline ticket sales. So it's very important to ensure that you are tying in the question and you're really focused on answering that question. Let's take a look at the examiner tip. Top tip, try to think of this six mark analyze question where two ways or impacts or reasons or factors are asked for as two three mark questions. So two factors are asked for and for each valid factor it can achieve one knowledge and understanding mark one application mark and one analysis mark. Each valid factor is therefore marked separately. So if only one valid factor is identified, then a maximum of three marks can be achieved. 